It's just gonna be you and me Hey loves and welcome to today's vlog. So it has been such a fast day. I feel like I blinked. Why are my lights doing that? Oh, I know why. Because I don't know what's going on. My lights are flickering and it's really weird. And I think it has to do with the fact that I have this on right now in the same outlet as my light that I have. Because it is much later in the day. I feel like I blinked and it's already 5 o'clock at night. And I did sleep in today. So I feel like I got a little bit of a later start to my day. Because usually I wake up with Ricardo when he goes to work. But last night I just couldn't sleep. And so I went to bed at like 1 or 2 in the morning. And so I slept in today until like 9, 9.30. And I totally felt the difference in like me losing you know that hour in the day because I was sleeping I got up I took a shower and I took a full-on like spa day type of shower where I actually like exfoliated my body I shaved I deep conditioned and I did all the stuff that you typically don't do on a daily basis um and so I feel like that also took long and then I did some laundry and by that time it was already gonna be like 11 o'clock or so and I just quickly made myself some breakfast um, I made myself a smoothie which I didn't film and then I also grabbed like a concha since we had pan dulce yesterday and I was on my computer the entire time I was just like glued to my computer editing and usually a video will take me anywhere from like six to eight hours to edit and today was one of those days so come five o'clock I lost my entire morning um, sitting in front of the computer and at one point I was like oh my goodness I feel like I didn't leave my chair and the sun went down and it made me feel so lonely like it made me feel like I missed out on the day and made me feel kind of sad I'm like that is so crazy because usually I'll edit at night or I'll edit um, maybe not as early as I did today um, because I like to typically block out that time to answer back like emails and then I'll go run errands or do things around the house or just kind of get out of my chair and do things and then I'll go back in the middle of the day and I'll get up again and then I'll go back at night but this time I sat through the entire day trying to get this video up for you guys and I was just like wow like I had to call Ricardo be like listen I haven't talked to anyone all day long not even Coco and Ginger I was like just talk to me because I feel so lonely right now um, and he was like, it's okay, I'll be home soon. So I was like, good, because I just felt it. So I am, so right now I quickly came upstairs and I did my makeup really quick, um, just to make me feel like I did something today, even though I was productive. Like, I was in, like, just like, I don't know, not, these aren't PJs, but I was just like in these baggy clothes all day. My hair was a hot mess. <laughs> I had no makeup on. I'm like, I just need to feel like I'm I'm doing something, <laughs> you know? Um, so now I'm going to do my hair so it doesn't look so crazy. And I'm just going to curl it. So I thought I'd show you guys what I do to curl it because I often get so many questions on my Instagram on how I do my hair. So right now, my hair is half air dried, half blow dried from this morning. Um, and when I blow dry my hair, I usually grab like my fingers and like go like this to my hair. So I have the blow dryer and then I do this and that like lifts up your hair and makes it like voluminous without making look, without making it look like frizzy and all over the place. So I feel like I still have some kind of volume up here in my, on the top of my head. And then whenever I use this to curl my hair, um, I try not to put it on my roots. I just do it like on the bottom. And that'll weigh your hair less because if you put it on top, you're just going to look like a greasy mess. Even though this one is not that greasy. This is a blow dry spray from Kenra. This is the one that I always talk about. If you guys need a heat tamer, grab that one. Um, and then the tool that I'm going to be using to curl my hair is a T3 curling iron. This one right here is the one and a half barrel. 
one and a half inch barrel and I love it. Okay, so let's start. I just go ahead and part my hair down the middle and then I start in the back and this like takes me no time at all. So what I like to do is I will straighten my hair with a curling iron just in case there's like little flyaways and then I'll go ahead and I'll start curling and I'll leave it on there for a few seconds and that's it. It's like super fast. And because I don't leave it on there for too long, they're not really tight curls. And if you notice, because I have some layers in my hair, I'll, I'll start here and then I'll open up the clamp so that way it curls your hair all the way through the bottom even though you have like baby hair sticking out, if that makes sense. That's like a trick that I learned because I used to try and curl my hair all at once. I'll show you how I used to do it. I used to grab my hair, put it at the very bottom. Oh, and then that would happen. It would like, I don't know, I used to do this. Okay, so I used to do this where I would put it at the bottom and then you see all these hairs that keep falling off because they're not the same length. I would have to keep like redoing it and grabbing sections in the back so now what I do is I'll put it like halfway through and slowly open up the clamp as I'm turning it and that way it'll all be even and you save more time and then just a few seconds and I do it and this just kind of helps your hair like curl faster I do it in big sections too that way you get done much faster because I don't have time to like curl my hair. I'll give it like 10-15 minutes and then I get annoyed, you know? And I think what really helps is the type of curler that you have. Because this is like a bigger barrel, it takes less time for me to curl my, curl my hair because I have long hair and it can take longer. You see that piece is falling out. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna be like, wow, that was fast. Watch, watch, watch. I'm almost done. Just have these little baby hairs that are really hard to curl. All right. And we're done with one side. I want to do something. I want to get out of the house and do something. I'm going to ask Ricardo if he wants to go Christmas gift shopping. But the thing is, I feel like we already got a lot of our gifts. So I don't know if he's going to... If he even knows what he wants to give people. Because sometimes when it comes like his mom or dad, like... He's like, oh, I don't really know what to give them. And I have to come up with ideas. And I'm like, you know what would be really nice? I'm like, if we give this to your mom. I think he, he finds it hard to find something for his mom than his dad. Because his dad's a guy and he knows him well. But like his mom is a little bit harder for him. But I think we should go shopping. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm on my way. Yay! <laughs> what do you want to do? Do you want to do anything? Like what? I don't know. We can go Christmas shopping. For what? Don't you still have your mom, your dad? Hmm? It's cold out there. Is it? Did the temperature drop? I mean, I don't know. I think it might have raised, actually. Let's see. Okay. It's 34 degrees. Alright, so I am ready. I'm so excited because we are going to Olive Garden. <laughs> And Sandy and Renee are joining us. Sandy called me. She's like, what are you doing? And I was like, we're going to go to Olive Garden. 
and you guys should totally come with us so that is what we're doing i am out of breath because i quickly changed and i ran to go get these pants but i'm glad that i did my hair and makeup because ricardo's home now and we're going to head on over there and i really want the soup and salad from olive garden it is just so good and delicious i'm like my mouth is watering i'm so excited so let's go <laughs> Get going. So excited to eat. I was feeling a little bit sick because I haven't really eaten. I just ate a snack. I ate a tamal from yesterday. What did you eat for lunch? Had some wings. Wing dang, stop. Dang, dang. I'm jealous. I am jealous. We are here. Are you looking for Tia Nieves? She's not here today. Oh, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Look at your phone. What's on it? What are you on? Next time I'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> did, you see, did you see the second one? I sent another one. <laughs> we kind of forgot about the advent calendar. That's okay. We'll open it up and we will do the 12th. Where's that at? Right here. Ooh, let's see. A cute little blush and. This is a good shade. It's like a little bit darker. And fun fact, did you guys know that when I first started wearing makeup, I would only wear the Bare Minerals foundation, like the powdered foundation, um, the one that comes in like the mineral veal. Like this one, I think I was at the mall and like this girl did a presentation and she like showed like how well like it blurs out your face and just like how well it covers your face. And I was sold. I was like, oh my god. They used to have all those infomercials. Do you guys remember those infomercials from Bare Minerals? Talking about like mineral makeup and like how good it is for you. Which, I mean, they weren't wrong. But I just think it's so crazy like how far they've come. And I would buy like the three pack. It would come like the mineral field the foundation. And then I forgot there was, oh, then the bronzer I think. And I would use them all the time. And I love them. So I think that's so crazy. 13 and ooh, please tell me it's another matte lipstick nope doesn't look like it is I thought this was a matte lipstick but it's not looks like it's a gloss this is beautiful by the way it's called Gen Nude and I really like the matte lipstick that I got last time it just looks so nice alright we got 13 head on over to 14 ooh I almost broke that we have this mascara. It is the Lash Domination Mascara. I don't think I've tried this mascara before, so we'll see how it is. So that is what we have so far for the 15th. All right, here we are. All right, we have another blush, and this one is a little bit lighter, but we have our little collection going on here. That's cute, okay. And let's see, 16 looks a little bit smaller. Alright, so I opened up this eyeshadow and I kind of made a little bit of a mess here. But I wanted to swatch it and it's hard to focus, but it's a really pretty brown color. I like that. I like that they gave like colors that are going to be usable for like daily wear. Like all the nudes and neutrals, like I really appreciate that. Alright, so I opened up the rest of the days that I still haven't opened. We have the Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. This is a mist, a dewy mist. And this is hands down one of the best advent calendars I have ever seen for the value that you get and how much you pay. This was sent to me, so I didn't have to purchase it. But if I was to spend my money on an advent calendar and it was like a beauty one, this one would be so worth it. It's like really well packaging, really beautiful, definitely good size sample. Like, you get a lot of product out of them, so I really, really like this one. 
we are back home i had such a good time with sandy and nick they're so funny i like it because i feel like we often hang out since we have like a very similar lifestyle like we usually get done with work around the same time and we just have just like really good chemistry with one another and it's really really funny to be around them so i am back now i'm going to jump into my pjs and go to bed i can't wait to like take off like the minimal makeup that I have left and I need to do a really good like exfoliation on my skin I've noticed that it's been dry and I don't know why and then I also noticed it right here earlier when I was putting on my makeup I went like this with the brush and I'm like what is that it looks like I'm shedding almost like almost like a sunburn and whenever it's like drying out or like it's peeling off that's what it looked like so I'm like, I really need to do a really good like skincare routine, like exfoliate my face, like put on a mask. But I've been so tired at night or I go to sleep so late that I forget to do it. But like I need some me time. I need to just like set some time to do that to my face. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do it tonight <laughs> as much as I need it. I won't do it tonight. I'm just really tired and I want to go to bed. Um, so I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, which is besos. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh.